Life, my friends, is a tempestuous sea. It tosses us about, throws challenges our way, yet we endure. This is resilience in action. It's the strength that keeps us afloat. Resilience is not just about survival, it's about thriving. It's the driving force behind growth. We navigate life's complexities with confidence, turning stumbling blocks into stepping stones. It fuels our determination to rise above. Remember, the human spirit is incredibly resilient. The path to resilience is not always paved with ease. It often leads us through the crucible of criticism. Criticism can chill us to the bone. It can sting and leave us feeling exposed. We may question our abilities and retreat, but criticism is not inherently negative. It can be a powerful tool for growth. Think of it as a sculptor's chisel shaping us. Through feedback, we gain valuable insights. We see ourselves from different perspectives. Constructive criticism can be a catalyst for growth. It pushes us beyond our comfort zones. The sting of criticism is temporary. By handling criticism constructively, we turn it into an opportunity for self-improvement. It's through this process that we truly shine. Now, you might ask, how do we build this resilience, this inner fortress, against the storms of life? Well, my friends, it's like constructing a sturdy building. It requires a strong foundation, solid pillars, and a resilient roof to weather any storm. The first pillar is self-awareness. It's about understanding our strengths and weaknesses, our values and beliefs. Knowing ourselves deeply allows us to identify our triggers, manage our emotions effectively, and respond to challenges with greater clarity and composure. Next comes optimism, the unwavering belief in our ability to overcome adversity. Optimism doesn't mean ignoring the challenges, but rather focusing on the possibilities, the potential for growth and learning that lies within each obstacle. With optimism, we approach setbacks as temporary detours, not dead ends. The third pillar is adaptability, the ability to adjust our sails when the winds change. Life is unpredictable and we need to be flexible in our approach, willing to learn new skills, embrace new perspectives, and adapt to changing circumstances. This agility of mind and spirit allows us to navigate the unexpected twists and turns of life with grace and resilience. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. What happens when the criticism comes from a biased source. This is where the art of perspective comes into play. Everyone has biases shaped by their experiences and values. Recognizing this helps us view criticism objectively. Separate the message from the messenger. There might be a kernel of truth within it. Balance discernment and open-mindedness. Use biased criticism as an opportunity for growth. Transform biased criticism into a stepping stone. The strength in feedback. Some might argue that criticism, especially when it's unwarranted or harsh, is best ignored. Why subject ourselves to negativity and pain when we can simply brush it aside? Ignoring constructive criticism denies us the opportunity for growth. Imagine a tree that's never pruned. It might grow tall, but its branches would be weak and its fruit small and sour. Pruning removes what's unnecessary, allowing the tree to flourish. Similarly, constructive criticism helps us shed flaws and refine strengths. Feedback reveals our blind spots, areas holding us back. Received with humility, feedback becomes a powerful catalyst for transformation. The journey to mastery. Mastering resilience is a journey, not a destination. It's a continuous process of self-reflection, learning and growth. Cultivate a mindset that embraces challenges and learns from setbacks. 
History is full of individuals who embodied resilience, from Mandela's spirit to Malala's fight for education. They use setbacks as fuel to achieve greatness. Their stories show the indomitable spirit within us. Mandela said, the greatest glory lies in rising every time we fall. Embrace the journey of resilience. It leads to self-awareness, growth and a fulfilling life. Unveiling the power within. We often underestimate the power within us to transform criticism into growth. This power lies dormant, waiting to be awakened. It's the power of resilience to rise above adversity. Handling criticism constructively means acknowledging it and choosing our response. With a growth mindset, we see criticism as a gift for refining our skills. How we handle criticism shapes our future and defines our success. Now, embracing criticism can be uncomfortable. It triggers vulnerability and self-doubt. Growth rarely occurs within comfort zones. True transformation happens when we confront our limitations. Like muscles growing through resistance, our resilience strengthens when we face criticism. Embrace discomfort as a learning opportunity. View criticism as a catalyst for growth. The path to mastery is rarely linear. Embrace discomfort to unlock extraordinary transformation. Let's delve into the transformative power of feedback, the lifeblood of growth. Imagine a world without feedback, where we operate in isolation, oblivious to our blind spots. Feedback acts as a mirror, reflecting our strengths and weaknesses. It provides insights into how our actions are perceived, bridging intention and impact. Constructive feedback is invaluable for growth. Feedback guides us to reach our full potential. Remember, feedback is a gift, an opportunity to learn and grow. Receiving criticism can trigger a labyrinth of emotions. We might feel defensive, hurt or angry. These are natural responses to threats to our ego. The key is to navigate this emotional labyrinth effectively. Acknowledge and validate your emotions without judgment. But don't let them dictate your reactions. Find healthy ways to process emotions. Develop emotional intelligence to handle criticism gracefully. As we navigate the labyrinth of emotions triggered by criticism, it's crucial to cultivate self-compassion. This means treating ourselves with the same kindness, understanding and forgiveness that we would offer to a close friend going through a similar experience. When we're bombarded with criticism, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism, berating ourselves for our perceived shortcomings and amplifying our flaws. However, this type of negative self-talk is counterproductive and can erode our self-esteem, making it even harder to bounce back from setbacks. Instead of dwelling on our mistakes or shortcomings, we need to practice self-compassion. This means acknowledging our humanness, accepting that we're all imperfect beings capable of making mistakes, and treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a loved one. Remember, my friends, we are our own harshest critics. By cultivating self-compassion, we create a safe and supportive inner environment that allows us to acknowledge our imperfections without judgment, learn from our mistakes, and emerge from challenges stronger and more resilient. Reframing criticism is about shifting our perspective and finding growth opportunities within it. View criticism as valuable feedback to improve our skills and approach. This mindset shift is crucial for building resilience. Ask, what can I learn from this feedback? Focus on the growth opportunity within criticism, transforming it into a stepping stone to success. 
Now, in this age of instant communication and social media, we're bombarded with an overwhelming amount of information, including opinions, feedback, and criticism. It's essential to distinguish between constructive and destructive criticism. Constructive criticism helps us improve, while destructive criticism aims to harm. Filter out the noise and focus on feedback that helps you grow. Now, my friends, receiving criticism is one thing, but turning it into a catalyst for positive action is what truly sets resilient individuals apart. It's not enough to simply acknowledge criticism or even to reframe it in a more positive light. We need to take concrete steps to address the issues raised and use the feedback to fuel our growth. This might involve seeking clarification on the feedback, asking for specific examples, or even seeking guidance from a trusted mentor or coach on how to implement the suggestions. The key is to transform criticism from a passive experience into an active process of learning and development. Remember, my friends, knowledge without action is like a seed that's never planted. It has the potential for growth, but it will never flourish unless we take the necessary steps to nurture it. By turning criticism into a catalyst for action, we transform it from a potential setback into a powerful opportunity for growth. Finally, my friends, it's important to remember that the way we handle criticism has a ripple effect, influencing not only our own growth and well-being, but also the way others perceive us and interact with us. When we respond to criticism with grace, humility, and a willingness to learn, we demonstrate maturity, self-awareness, and a commitment to growth. This, in turn, earns us the respect and admiration of our peers, colleagues, and even those who might have initially offered the criticism. Conversely, when we react to criticism with defensiveness, anger, or denial, we create a negative impression and damage our relationships. It also prevents us from learning from our mistakes and growing as individuals. Remember, my friends, our reactions to criticism speak volumes about our character and our values, by choosing to respond constructively, we set a positive example for others and create a more harmonious and productive environment for everyone. We also demonstrate our commitment to growth and our belief in our own ability to learn and evolve. Ah, the biased critic. A tricky character indeed. Like a chameleon, they blend into the background, their true colours hidden until they unleash their skewed perceptions upon us. But fear not, my friends, for even in the face of bias, we can don our armour of resilience and navigate this treacherous terrain. It's important to remember that bias is often unconscious. The person criticising us may not even be aware of their own prejudices they might genuinely believe they're offering constructive feedback, when in reality, their words are tainted by their own preconceived notions. This is not to say that we should excuse biased criticism, but rather to understand its roots and approach it with a more compassionate lens. Remember, hurt people hurt people. The person criticizing us might be projecting their own insecurities or frustrations onto us. Recognizing the source of the bias can help us detach from the personal sting of the criticism and view it through a more objective lens. Instead of allowing their words to trigger feelings of inadequacy or self-doubt, we can choose to see their bias as a reflection of their own limitations, not ours. Deciphering the Hidden Agenda now, sometimes bias is not so innocent. There might be a hidden agenda at play, a deliberate attempt to undermine our confidence or sabotage our progress. This is where our powers of observation and deduction come into play. We need to ask ourselves, what might be motivating this person to criticize me in this way? Do they stand to gain anything from my failure or setback? 
Is there a pattern of biased behavior from this individual? By carefully analyzing the situation, we can often uncover the hidden agenda and understand the true motivations behind the criticism. This knowledge, my friends, is power. It allows us to see the criticism for what it truly is, a tactic, not a truthful assessment of our abilities or worth. Once we've identified the hidden agenda, we can choose how to respond. We might decide to confront the individual directly, expose their bias and set firm boundaries. Or we might choose to rise above, ignore their attempts to undermine us and focus on proving them wrong through our actions and achievements. When faced with biased criticism, it's easy to get swept away by a torrent of emotions. Anger, frustration, hurt, these feelings are all valid, my friends, but allowing them to dictate our reactions can be detrimental to our well-being and our progress. This is where the power of detachment comes into play. Detachment doesn't mean ignoring the criticism or pretending it doesn't affect us, it simply means creating a healthy distance between ourselves and the criticism so that we can respond thoughtfully rather than react emotionally. Think of it like this. Imagine you're watching a play. The actors on stage are delivering their lines with passion and conviction, but you, as the audience member, are not emotionally invested in the outcome. You can appreciate the performance without letting it consume you. Similarly, when we detach ourselves from biased criticism, we can objectively assess the validity of the feedback without allowing the personal attacks to penetrate our core. We can separate the message from the messenger, extracting any nuggets of truth while discarding the poisonous barbs of bias. Turning the tables, leveraging biased feedback for growth. Now, my friends, here's a radical thought. What if we could turn the tables on biased criticism and actually leverage it for our own growth? Instead of seeing it as a stumbling block, what if we viewed it as an opportunity for self-reflection and improvement? Remember, even biased criticism can contain a grain of truth. The key is to sift through the negativity and identify any areas where we can genuinely this requires a delicate balance of humility and self-awareness. Ask yourself, is there anything in this criticism, however skewed, that might hold a sliver of truth? Is there anything I can learn from this feedback, even if it's not delivered with the best intentions? By approaching biased criticism with a growth mindset, we can transform a potentially negative experience into a valuable learning opportunity. We can use the feedback to challenge our own assumptions, identify blind spots, and ultimately become more well-rounded individuals. Seeking objective perspectives, the power of the third party. When we're embroiled in a situation involving biased criticism, it can be difficult to see the forest for the trees. Our judgment might be clouded by emotions, making it hard to objectively assess the validity of the feedback. This is where seeking objective perspectives can be invaluable. Talking to a trusted friend, mentor or coach can provide us with the clarity and support we need to navigate the situation effectively. Choose someone who is known for their objectivity, wisdom and ability to offer constructive feedback. Share your experience with them, outlining the criticism received and your feelings about it. A fresh pair of eyes can often spot patterns or insights that we might have missed. They can help us identify any truth in the criticism, offer suggestions for improvement and provide emotional support during a challenging time. Setting boundaries, protecting your emotional well-being. 
Now, my friends, while it's important to approach biased criticism with a degree of grace and understanding, it's equally crucial to set firm boundaries to protect our emotional well-being. We don't have to tolerate abuse or allow someone's negativity to poison our spirit. If we find ourselves repeatedly subjected to biased criticism from the same individual, it's time to take action. This might involve limiting our interactions with that person, setting clear boundaries about acceptable behavior, or even removing ourselves from the situation entirely. Remember, my friends, your emotional well-being is paramount. You have the right to protect yourself from negativity and toxicity. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and create a safe and supportive environment where you can thrive. The High Road Responding with grace and dignity. When confronted with biased criticism, it can be tempting to retaliate, to fire back with equal measure of anger or sarcasm. But my friends, as tempting as it might be, stooping to their level will only drag us down. Remember, resilience is not about winning battles, it's about winning the war. And the war we're fighting is against negativity, self-doubt, and the insidious whispers of those who seek to undermine us. The most powerful way to respond to biased criticism is with grace and dignity. This doesn't mean we have to agree with the criticism or pretend it doesn't bother us. It simply means we choose to respond in a way that reflects our own values and integrity. This might involve acknowledging the criticism without engaging in a debate, thanking the person for their feedback while asserting our own perspective, or simply disengaging from the conversation altogether. Rising above, the triumph of resilience. In the face of biased criticism, our true strength lies in our ability to rise above, to refuse to be defined by the skewed perceptions of others, to hold our heads high knowing that our value and worth are not contingent on the opinions of those who seek to diminish us. Remember, my friends, the biased critic is often fighting their own battles, grappling with insecurities and frustrations that have nothing to do with us. Their words say more about them than they do about us. Instead of allowing their negativity to drag us down, let us use it as fuel to ignite our own fire. Let us channel our energy into proving them wrong through our actions and achievements. For in the end, the greatest revenge is a life well lived, a life characterized by integrity, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to our own growth and success. The unbiased truth, your value lies within. As we conclude this exploration of handling biased criticism, let us remember this. Our true value and worth are not determined by the opinions of others, no matter how loudly or persistently they might voice them. Our value, my friends, lies within. It's in our character, our integrity, our talents, our passions, our resilience. It's in the unique contributions we make to the world and the positive impact we have on the lives of those around us. Don't let the biased criticisms of the world dim your light. Embrace your strengths, acknowledge your weaknesses, and continue to strive for growth and self-improvement. Remember, my friends, you are capable of achieving great things. Believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and never let anyone steal your shine. Echoes of resilience, lessons from the past. The annals of history, my friends, are filled with tales of triumph and tribulation. They whisper to us of empires that rose and fell, of battles fought and won, and of individuals who dared to dream and defied the odds. These echoes of the past, often etched in stone or passed down through generations, offer us more than just historical facts. They provide us with invaluable lessons in resilience, courage and the indomitable spirit that resides within us all. 
For woven into the tapestry of history are countless examples of individuals who faced adversity head on, who transformed setbacks into stepping stones, and who emerged from the crucible of criticism stronger and more determined than ever before. These historical figures, hailing from different eras and walks of life, serve as beacons of inspiration, reminding us that the human spirit is capable of overcoming even the most daunting challenges. Their stories, etched in the annals of time, offer us a roadmap for navigating the complexities of life, for harnessing the power of resilience, and for emerging from adversity triumphant. Consider, my friends, the extraordinary journey of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. Born into humble beginnings, Lincoln faced a lifetime of adversity, from personal tragedies to political setbacks. His path to the presidency was fraught with obstacles, marked by numerous failed political campaigns and personal losses that would have crushed a lesser man. Yet Lincoln persevered, his spirit unbroken by the weight of criticism and defeat. He possessed an unyielding belief in his own abilities and a deep-seated commitment to his ideals. He viewed each setback as an opportunity for learning and growth, refining his approach and emerging from each challenge stronger and more determined. Lincoln's unwavering spirit and his ability to withstand relentless criticism ultimately guided him to the helm of a nation on the brink of collapse. His leadership during the tumultuous years of the American Civil War stands as a testament to the transformative power of resilience, reminding us that even in the darkest of times, hope and determination can prevail. And who can forget the indomitable spirit of Harriet Tubman, a conductor on the Underground Railroad who risked her own freedom countless times to lead enslaved people to liberty. Born into slavery, Tubman endured unimaginable hardships, yet she refused to be defined by her circumstances. Driven by an unquenchable thirst for freedom and a profound empathy for her fellow human beings, she escaped to the North only to return to the South time and again, guiding others to safety. Tubman faced constant danger, her every move scrutinized by those who sought to maintain the cruel institution of slavery. But she never wavered, her determination fueled by a deep-seated belief in the righteousness of her cause and an unwavering commitment to justice. Her courage, her compassion, and her unwavering pursuit of freedom serve as an enduring inspiration, reminding us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles, one person's resilience can ignite a movement and change the course of history. Turning our gaze to the east, we encounter the extraordinary life of Mahatma Gandhi, the preeminent leader of Indian nationalism in British-ruled India. Gandhi, a champion of non-violent resistance, faced imprisonment, violence and relentless criticism in his pursuit of India's independence. He advocated for peaceful protests, boycotts and civil disobedience, challenging the might of the British Empire with the power of his convictions and the unwavering support of millions of Indians. Gandhi's philosophy of Satyagraha, which translates to truth force, emphasized the power of love, truth, and nonviolence in overcoming oppression. Despite facing imprisonment, physical assaults, and constant attempts to discredit his movement, Gandhi remained steadfast in his beliefs. He understood that true strength lay not in physical force, but in the unwavering commitment to one's principles, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. Gandhi's life and legacy stand as a testament to the transformative power of non-violent resistance and the indomitable spirit that resides within each of us. He reminds us that even the most powerful empires can be challenged and ultimately overcome by the unwavering courage of those who dare to stand up for what they believe in.
Now let us journey into the realm of science, where we encounter the remarkable Marie Curie, a pioneer in the field of radioactivity. Curie, the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields, faced immense challenges throughout her career. In a time when women in science were a rarity, Curie broke down barriers and shattered stereotypes, her groundbreaking research paving the way for countless scientific advancements. However, her path to success was not without its obstacles. Curie faced skepticism, discrimination and even hostility from some in the scientific community who struggled to accept her brilliance and her groundbreaking discoveries. Moreover, her research exposed her to dangerous levels of radiation, ultimately leading to her death from a plastic anemia. Yet, Curie's passion for science and her unwavering pursuit of knowledge never wavered. She persevered through countless setbacks, her spirit unbroken by the challenges she faced. Her life and legacy serve as an enduring inspiration, reminding us that true brilliance knows no gender and that the pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of adversity, can lead to extraordinary breakthroughs that benefit all humankind. Nelson Mandela, a South African anti-apartheid revolutionary, served as president from 1994 to 1999. Mandela spent 27 years imprisoned for his activism against apartheid. Emerging from prison, he preached forgiveness and envisioned a democratic South Africa. His legacy of resilience and unity continues to inspire millions worldwide. Now, let us shift our focus to the modern era, where we encounter the extraordinary courage of Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest Nobel Prize laureate. At a young age, Malala became a target of the Taliban, who opposed her advocacy for girls' education. She was shot in the head by a Taliban gunman while on her way to school, an act of violence that shocked the world and highlighted the ongoing struggle for girls' education in many parts of the world. However, Malala's spirit remained unbroken. She refused to be silenced by fear or intimidation. Instead, she used her platform to amplify the voices of girls around the world who are denied access to education. Malala's courage, her resilience and her unwavering commitment to education serve as a powerful reminder that even in the face of violence and oppression, young people have the power to create change and inspire others to fight for a more just and equitable world. Turning our attention to the realm of literature, we encounter the inspiring story of J.K. Rowling the author of the beloved Harry Potter series. Before achieving phenomenal success, Rowling faced a series of personal and professional setbacks. As a single mother struggling to make ends meet, she faced numerous rejections from publishers for her first Harry Potter manuscript. Yet Rowling persevered, her belief in her story unwavering. She poured her heart and soul into her writing, drawing inspiration from her own experiences and her vivid imagination. Finally, her perseverance paid off when Bloomsbury, a small publishing house in London, took a chance on her manuscript. The rest, as they say, is history. The Harry Potter series became a global phenomenon, captivating the imaginations of millions of readers worldwide and establishing Rowling as one of the most successful authors of all time. Her story reminds us that success is often preceded by failure and that it's in our ability to persevere, to learn from our setbacks, and to never give up on our dreams that we discover our true potential. Now, let us delve into the realm of astrophysics where we encounter the brilliant mind of Stephen Hawking, 
a renowned physicist, cosmologist and author who made groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of the universe. At the age of 21, Hawking was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, a debilitating neurodegenerative disease that gradually paralyzed him and confined him to a wheelchair. Despite this immense physical challenge, Hawking's mind remained sharp and his thirst for knowledge unquenched. He continued to conduct groundbreaking research, author best-selling books, and inspire millions with his insights into the mysteries of the universe. Hawking's unwavering spirit, his refusal to let his physical limitations define him, and his profound contributions to science serve as a testament to the boundless power of the human mind and the indomitable spirit that resides within us all. His story reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, the human spirit can soar to unimaginable heights, pushing the boundaries of knowledge and inspiring generations to come. These individuals, my friends, represent but a fraction of the countless souls throughout history who have embodied resilience, who have transformed adversity into triumph, and whose stories continue to inspire us today. From the battlefields to the courtroom, from the laboratory to the page, their echoes reverberate through time, reminding us that the human spirit is capable of overcoming even the most daunting challenges. Their stories, etched in the annals of time, serve as a testament to the enduring power of resilience, a timeless legacy passed down from generation to generation, urging us to embrace our own inner strength, to rise above adversity, and to create a brighter future for ourselves and for generations to come. As we reflect on these extraordinary individuals and their remarkable journeys, let us draw inspiration from their unwavering spirits, their unwavering commitment to their ideals, and their ability to transform setbacks into stepping stones. Their stories remind us that resilience is not an innate trait reserved for a select few. It is a muscle that we can all strengthen through practice, through perseverance, and through a willingness to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Just as a blacksmith hammers iron into shape, adversity has the power to forge within us resilience, strength, and an unyielding determination to succeed. It is in our darkest moments that our inner light shines brightest, illuminating the path forward and guiding us towards our true potential. So my friends, let us not shy away from challenges but embrace them as opportunities to cultivate our own resilience, to strengthen our resolve and to forge our own paths to greatness. For within each of us lies the potential for extraordinary resilience, the capacity to overcome adversity, and the unwavering spirit to achieve our dreams. Let us learn from the lessons of the past, draw strength from the examples set by those who came before us, and step boldly into the future, ready to face whatever challenges life may throw our way. Remember, my friends, you are not alone on this journey. We at Yoga Coaching and Consulting are here to guide you, support you, and empower you to unleash your inner resilience and achieve your full potential. Now, my friends, we've explored the inspiring stories of resilient individuals throughout history. But resilience is more than just a collection of anecdotes. It's a well-researched field of study with a growing body of empirical evidence to support its significance. Researchers around the world have been diligently studying resilience, seeking to understand its underlying mechanisms, its impact on our well-being, and how we can cultivate it more effectively. And what they've discovered is truly remarkable. 
Studies have shown that resilience is not simply a personality trait we're born with, but rather a skill, a set of strategies, and a way of thinking that can be learned and developed over time. This, my friends, is incredibly empowering news. It means that regardless of our past experiences or current circumstances, we all have the capacity to strengthen our resilience and become more adept at navigating life's inevitable challenges. The science is clear. Resilience is not a magical quality bestowed upon a select few, but a learnable skill accessible to all who are willing to put in the effort. Resilience, a protective factor against adversity. One of the most compelling findings in resilience research is its role as a protective factor against adversity. Imagine, my friends, a shield that deflects the blows of life's challenges, buffering us from their potentially harmful effects. That's precisely what resilience does. Numerous studies have shown that individuals with higher levels of resilience are better equipped to cope with stress, trauma and adversity. They're less likely to experience anxiety, depression and other mental health issues in the face of challenging situations. For instance, a 2015 study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that resilience was a significant predictor of well-being among individuals who had experienced a traumatic event. Those with higher levels of resilience reported lower levels of post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms and were more likely to experience post-traumatic growth. This research highlights the critical role of resilience in safeguarding our mental and emotional well-being, particularly during times of adversity. It's like having a built-in shock absorber that helps us navigate life's bumps and bruises with greater ease and resilience. The role of optimism in fostering resilience. Now, my friends, one of the most potent ingredients is optimism. It's about choosing to focus on the positive, to see the potential for growth in every situation and to maintain a belief in ourselves. Martin Seligman's research demonstrated the power of optimism. Optimism is like a mental muscle we can strengthen. By focusing on the positive, we can harness the power of optimism and build resilience. Another crucial ingredient in the resilience recipe is what psychologist Carol Dweck calls a growth mindset. Individuals with a growth mindset believe that their abilities are not fixed, but rather malleable, capable of being developed through effort, learning and perseverance. Those with a fixed mindset, on the other hand, believe that their intelligence and talents are predetermined and unchangeable. They shy away from challenges, fearing failure, and the potential to expose their perceived limitations. Dweck's research has shown that a growth mindset is a powerful predictor of success in all areas of life, from academics to athletics to business. Individuals with a growth mindset embrace challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, viewing setbacks not as failures, but as valuable feedback that can help them improve. This mindset, my friends, is essential for building resilience. When we believe that we can learn and grow from our experiences, we're less likely to be derailed by setbacks and more likely to bounce back stronger and wiser. The neuroscience of feedback, rewiring our brains for growth. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of neuroscience to understand how feedback, even the critical kind, can actually rewire our brains for growth. You see, my friends, our brains are incredibly adaptable organs, constantly changing and evolving based on our experiences. When we receive feedback, particularly feedback that highlights areas where we can improve, our brains interpret this information as a signal to adapt and grow. This triggers a cascade of neural activity, strengthening existing neural pathways, 
and forging new connections. Research has shown that receiving constructive feedback activates the prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain responsible for planning, decision-making and self-control. This activation helps us regulate our emotional responses to feedback, enabling us to process the information objectively and identify areas for improvement. Furthermore, feedback also activates the hippocampus, a brain region crucial for memory and learning. This activation helps us encode the feedback more deeply, making it more likely that we'll remember it and apply it in the future. Emotional intelligence, the key to constructive responses. Now, my friends, while receiving feedback is essential for growth, it's our ability to respond to it constructively that truly determines our resilience. And that's where emotional intelligence comes into play. Emotional intelligence, often referred to as EQ, encompasses our ability to recognize, understand and manage our own emotions as well as the emotions of others. It's about being aware of our emotional triggers, responding to challenging situations with empathy and compassion, and building strong, healthy relationships. Studies have shown that individuals with high EQ are better able to handle criticism, resolve conflicts peacefully, and build strong, supportive relationships. They're also more likely to be successful in their careers and achieve their personal and professional goals. Developing our emotional intelligence, my friends, is crucial for building resilience. It enables us to navigate the choppy waters of criticism with grace and composure, extracting valuable lessons from feedback without allowing it to capsize our emotional well-being. Social support, building a network of resilience, now, my friends, resilience is not solely an individual pursuit. It thrives in the fertile ground of human connection and social support. Just as a single tree standing alone is more vulnerable to the elements, we too are stronger when we're connected to others. Research has consistently shown that social support plays a crucial role in building resilience. Having a strong network of family, friends, colleagues or mentors provides us with a buffer against stress, a source of encouragement during difficult times, and a sounding board for our thoughts and feelings. A 2017 study published in the journal PLOES, one found that individuals with higher levels of social support reported lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression, as well as greater life satisfaction. Social support, it seems, acts as a protective factor, shielding us from the detrimental effects of adversity. So, my friends, cultivate your relationships, nurture your connections, and build a strong support network. For in times of challenge, it is often the love, encouragement, and wisdom of those around us that help us rise above and emerge stronger than before. Now, let's shift our focus to the workplace, where resilience is not just a desirable trait, but a critical performance enhancer. In today's fast-paced, ever-changing work environment, the ability to adapt to change, overcome challenges, and maintain productivity under pressure is more valuable than ever. Studies have shown that employees with higher levels of resilience are more engaged, more productive, and more likely to be promoted. They're also better able to handle stress, manage conflicts effectively, and maintain a positive attitude, even in challenging situations. A 2019 report by the American Psychological Association found that resilience was a key predictor of job satisfaction, employee engagement, and overall well-being in the world. The report also highlighted the importance of organisations fostering a culture of resilience, one that supports employees' mental and emotional well-being and provides them with the resources they need to thrive. 
So, my friends, whether you're an employee seeking to advance your career or a leader looking to build a more resilient and productive workforce, investing in resilience is a wise choice. As we conclude this exploration of the science of resilience, one thing is abundantly clear. Investing in our own resilience is one of the wisest investments we can make. Resilience is not a luxury, my friends, but a necessity for navigating the complexities of life, for achieving our goals, and for living a fulfilling and meaningful life. It's a skill that can be learned, developed and strengthened through practice, perseverance and a willingness to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. And the benefits, my friends, are immeasurable. Resilience enhances our well-being, strengthens our relationships, boosts our performance and empowers us to create a more positive and impactful life, not just for ourselves, but for those around us. Remember, my friends, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that first step today by embracing the principles of resilience and watch as your life transforms in remarkable ways. Now, my friends, as we've journeyed through the intricate landscapes of resilience, exploring its historical echoes and scientific foundations, you might find yourself yearning for a guiding hand, a trusted companion to accompany you on this transformative path. This, my friends, is where the profound impact of mentorship comes into play. Imagine, if you will, a seasoned explorer, well-versed in the terrain, offering their wisdom, sharing their maps, and illuminating the path forward. That, my friends, is the essence of mentorship. It's about having a seasoned guide by your side, someone who has navigated similar challenges, celebrated triumphs, and emerged from the crucible of experience with invaluable insights. A mentor, like a master craftsman, helps us refine our skills, sharpen our focus, and unlock our hidden potential. They provide us with the tools, strategies, and support we need to navigate the complexities of life and achieve our goals. Unleashing your potential, the M. Yoga approach. Here at M. Joga Coaching and Consulting, we pride ourselves on being more than just career advisors. We are architects of transformation, dedicated to empowering individuals like you to reach their full potential. Our approach is deeply rooted in the principles of resilience, recognizing that true success is not the absence of challenges, but the ability to navigate them with grace, learn from them, and emerge stronger and more determined. We believe that within each individual lies a reservoir of untapped potential, a wellspring of talent, skills and aspirations waiting to be unleashed. Our mission is to guide you on a journey of self-discovery, helping you identify your strengths, overcome your limiting beliefs and chart a course towards a career and life that aligns with your deepest values and aspirations. Our team of experienced coach and consultants, much like skilled gardeners, understands that growth requires the right conditions, the right nourishment and the right support. We provide a nurturing and empowering environment where you can explore your potential, experiment with new approaches and blossom into the best version. A bespoke journey to career excellence. We recognize, my friends, that no two journeys are alike. Each individual is unique with their own set of aspirations, challenges and dreams. That's why at M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we don't believe in a one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, we offer a bespoke journey to career excellence, tailored to your specific needs, goals and aspirations. Our coaching programs are carefully designed to provide you with the personalized guidance, support and accountability you need to achieve breakthrough results. 
We begin by deeply listening to your story, understanding your motivations and uncovering your hidden potential. We then work collaboratively with you to develop a customized action plan, outlining clear steps, setting achievable goals and providing you with the tools and strategies you need to succeed. Our coaching sessions are a safe and supportive space where you can explore your challenges, celebrate your successes and receive guidance from experienced professionals who are passionate about your growth. Transforming challenges into triumphs. We understand, my friends, that the path to success is rarely linear. There will be bumps in the road, detours and unexpected challenges. But we believe that it's how we navigate these challenges that truly defines us. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we equip you with the resilient skills you need to transform challenges into triumphs. We help you reframe setbacks as opportunities for learning, develop coping mechanisms for stress and adversity, and cultivate an unwavering belief in your ability to succeed. Our coaching programs are designed to not only enhance your career prospects, but also to foster your personal growth, empowering you to become a more confident, resilient, and fulfilled individual. We believe that by investing in your own growth, you're not only investing in your career, but in your overall well-being and happiness. Remember, my friends, challenges are not obstacles to be feared, but opportunities to be embraced. They are the stepping stones that lead us to greater heights, the crucibles in which our resilience is forged. Your success is our success. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, your success is not just a goal, it's a personal triumph that we celebrate with you every step of the way. We are deeply invested in your journey and your achievements are a testament to the power of our shared commitment. We believe that our success is intrinsically linked to yours. When you thrive, we thrive. When you achieve your goals, we share in the joy of your accomplishment. Our commitment to your success extends beyond the coaching sessions. We provide ongoing support, resources and guidance to help you navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. We are your trusted allies on this journey, your cheerleaders, your confidants and your unwavering advocates. Your dreams become our dreams and we are relentless in our pursuit of helping you achieve them. Now, my friends, the time for contemplation is drawing to a close and the time for action is at hand. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and we invite you to take that step today. Embark on your transformation today by booking a complimentary career breakthrough call with M Yoga Coaching and Consulting. This call is an opportunity for us to connect with you on a personal level, to understand your unique aspirations and challenges, and to explore how our coaching programs can help you unlock your full potential. Don't let fear, self-doubt or procrastination hold you back from pursuing your dreams. Take that first step, my friends, and let us guide you on a transformative journey towards a career and life that fills you with purpose, passion and fulfilment. Remember, as the ancient Chinese proverb reminds us, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. And so, my friends, we come to the close of our exploration, our shared journey through the intricate and empowering realm of resilience. We've traversed the corridors of history, bearing witness to the indomitable spirits of those who came before us, their triumphs over adversity echoing through time. We've delved into the scientific underpinnings of resilience, 
uncovering the remarkable capacity of the human mind to adapt, grow and emerge stronger from challenges. Just as a tapestry is woven from countless threads, each contributing to the richness and complexity of the final masterpiece, so too is our resilience built upon a multitude of factors. Self-awareness, optimism, adaptability, a growth mindset, emotional intelligence, social support, these are but a few of the threads that, when woven together, create a resilient spirit capable of weathering life's storms. Remember, my friends, resilience is not a destination we arrive at, but a journey we embark upon. A continuous process of learning, adapting and evolving. It's about embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, reframing setbacks as stepping stones, and cultivating an unwavering belief in our ability to overcome adversity. As we've discovered, my friends, resilience is not a passive trait, but an active pursuit, a conscious choice we make each day to show up for ourselves, to rise above challenges, and to strive for a life filled with purpose and fulfillment. But you don't have to walk this path alone. Here at M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we are dedicated to empowering individuals like you to unlock their full potential and achieve career excellence. We offer a supportive and transformative space where you can explore your aspirations, overcome your limiting beliefs, and develop the resilient skills you need to thrive in today's ever-changing world. We invite you to take the next step on your journey by booking a complimentary career breakthrough call with our team of experienced coaching consultants. This call is an opportunity for us to connect with you on a personal level, to understand your unique aspirations and challenges, and to explore how our coaching programs can help you design a career in life that truly lights you up. As we part ways for now, my friends, let me leave you with a final word of encouragement. The path to resilience, like any worthwhile journey, may have its share of twists and turns, but the rewards are well worth the effort. Remember, you are capable of achieving great things. You possess within you the strength, the courage and the resilience to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Trust in yourself, Embrace the journey and never lose sight of your dreams. For as the great Nelson Mandela once said, it is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves.